like 30 something runs and I talked before and after every run and it was like 45 minutes. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm gonna give you guys a little background leading up to the Saturday 50K. Up first, we got a progressive buyback $10,000 race on Thursday, meaning you can buy back one time any round uh, per entry. Gonna show all the runs really fast, put the time slips for a couple seconds at the end of the run if you wanna see. Had a couple good races with Troy Williams and Will Holloman in this race. So here we go.
rolled into the lanes for round number 10. There were seven of us left. I was sitting on the bye. It was three in the morning and everybody was wanting to stop racing, get ready for the 50Ks the next two days. I agreed with it and was feeling pretty good because that right there paid for my weekend. Moving on to 50K Friday. McLean takes control early on and takes the win. Ten foul on the tree. Dead with a 6-16. Pack locks him out. Rocky McLean with a good run. Well, foul on the tree for McLean. Breakout of one one hundredth. Right lane, your winner is Ken Jones. Turns it red. Rocky McLean ain't missed yet, though. About nine dead six. That guy's made a ton of laps this weekend. He's really doing a great job. Left lane, Rocky McLean, 17 dead two. Cook is mathematically ineligible. McLean, 17, take 004 for the win. Great job down there at the finish line. <laughs> Sutton's 25 and 25 down behind. Owen oh, pulls it out. 25 dead seven, take 5 thou, which I'm going to guess. Little Rocky McLean gets behind five thou. He is perfect in thirty seven thou over. Eighteen to fourteen. McLean in front. McLean did not get it done. Rocky McLean's 14 take 12 to be fourth thou under. Going into 50K Saturday, I was feeling confident. My round record was pretty good. My tree had stayed solid so far. Car was nasty in the heat and relatively predictable at night, so I was feeling good. It was about the same time as the first lap of the previous two days, so I thought I'd go a 455. Decided to put a 455 on it, dial honest, and I had 1173 in my box. Josh Ludke out of Boonville, Indiana. 448 the dial for the Hoosier on the left side. Rocky McLean, the second out of Texas, 455, the dial. Red light, Rocky McLean, Josh Lucky takes the win. Turned it 3 thou red there. I wrote down that I anticipated it just a little. I ran a 4.54 with a 4, so I made the assumption that it was just a little bit faster out there today. Came back around. I did add 3 thou to my box to make it 11.76. And I drew a dragster that I'd already raced before, the one that mile per hour is a lot. Thought I'd go another 4.54. I put a 4.54 on it. <laughs> Kayla, Mickey, Rocky, McLean. McLean's going to take their win. 30 thou on the tree. 13 over four. Bit of an interesting run, but McLean, the second's going to take it nonetheless. Got the win there. Opponent had some problems. Thought that maybe the red light may have gotten in my head a little bit because I was pretty late. Tightened it up way closer than it needed to be, but the car ran within a thou to the 60 and 330 of the last run. On to the buyback round for my first entry. 
And then it's Rambo on the jump at the line. Win to McLean. Not really any good footage of that one. I don't think I recorded it, but got the win there. He had me fourth out on the tree. It was a 430 car. I actually dialed up to a 55, just planning to give it one rip of the throttle if it was close. And I had a little room, tried to put it dead on, ended up dead four, taking both entries to round two. Rocky McLean down to right lane, 456 the dial, 476 the dial for Corey Lando in the left lane. Corey Landolt's 004. Hunt advantage. How about dead six? Rocky McLean is 14, one above zero, no good. Previous rounds, the car had been on what I thought to be a 454.4, 454.5, and 454.7. About 4 p.m. now and 100 degrees. Everybody was slowing down. I thought I'd go a 55. I put a 56 on it against a 476 dragster. And I got smoked. He was four dead two. But when you're not holding much and you're beat on the tree, it's hard to turn the wind light on. Last 50K, last entry, it's do or die time. I actually thought it was going low dead on out the back last run. So I think it's on a 456. Right here, I'm thinking it could go anywhere from a mid 55 to another low 56. He dialed 611. I looked at the time slip app, saw I could go 609. So I was pretty sure he was gonna drop at the end. Gonna give it a little rip of the throttle really late. Rocky McLean out of Texas. Doesn't care how nice Big E is. He's going for the jugular. Big E's trip zero to get this by. He's 16 here. Here he comes looking for him. Here comes that stop. Oh no, gave it up down there. 16. Goes three above, no good, is Rocky McLean's 15, one above, 25 total, your winner. Got the win there. That was the last one I didn't get on video, but I was 15, he was 16. Going down through there, it looked pretty good for me. And then came his drop, I gave it a rip of the throttle, I put it one above zero, and he was three over. Car continued to slow down just a little bit though, I had it going a high 456, so about the slowest it's been all weekend. Round three, it was almost 7 p.m. The transition round when we were starting to get faster, a lot of people were picking up, and I was confident it'd go 55 I put a 455 on it against the dragster dialed 449. Rocky McLean's got 45 to work with. He can see all of it. Not sure what happened for Kendall there. Late and way above. Rocky McLean, your winner. Bring it back next round. Got the win there. I still have 1176 in my box, and I let go 003. He had some problems. I put it five over. Moving on to round four. So last round, it did actually pick up a lot like I thought. Had it going about a mid 453. Going in the fourth round, I checked the time slip app on this guy. Thought he was holding just a few thousandths, so I put a 454 on it. Thinking I'm still going a 453. Trying to match his game plan a little bit. Hoping to just execute a little bit better. And I added 1,000 in my box after the 003 to make it 11. 77. Mullins versus McLean, Illinois versus Texas. Rocky McLean finds it there. Gonna give chase. Green lights a pair. He's ninth out behind though. Here comes Mullins. Staying in the lead. Oh. Oh, no. Mullins is 15, takes 22, needs to take 15 or less as McLean's 24, dead six, 30 total. Team Texas staying alive down there. Squeaked that one out. He had me by nine thou on the tree. We were going down through there and I wasn't gonna catch him. I wasn't feeling very good. Didn't wanna get on the brakes because I wanted to try to get there on the slight chance he just bails really hard. And I didn't wanna drive it in too deep because I didn't want him to bail because of that either. I gave it one rip just as I was getting to the mile per hour cone to put it dead six. And it looks like he was getting on the brakes right as he went through the finish line. He took 22 to be seven thou under. Car looks to be on a low 453. Round five was a rematch of first round. It was getting later, it was getting cooler. Thought it could definitely go a 52 here. Put a 53 on it. He was dialed 442 and I left my box alone. Oh, Rocky. 
loses one. He's 002 red. Or I'm sorry, 005. Rocky McLean no throwing haymakers. This time he turned it red. I was 002 and car ran what I thought. I ran a 452 with a seven. Didn't know it till I got into the lanes for round six, but that 002 earned me the bye run and I slapped a 458 on the dial board. Rocky McLean, the bye run to round number next. And then there is nine. Twenty up front, and six under. By run went good. Car continued to pick up a little bit, and I ran a 452 with a zero. Moving on to round seven, there were nine of us left, and I was laddered against a dragster dialed 472. Didn't know if it would continue to pick up or not, but I had a strong sense that it would, and the way I felt like racing was just keeping the work as minimal as possible. Reached out to my dad. He said, do a big burnout, put a 51 on it, and send it. <laughs> Buddy Farrell down 472 in the left lane. Rocky McLean down 451 in the right lane. Texas got a whole bunch there. He's got 13th out of work with. Pharrell's in trouble. Yep. How about that one? 001, one above seven. Pharrell's 14 takes 18, needs to take two or less. Kind of hard to tell in the video, but when I took off, the car stumbled and I was feeling pretty bad going down the track. I already didn't know for sure if I could run the 51. So I knew there was no world where I was lifting here. I was trying so hard to pass him. Couldn't do it. I had the reaction time advantage. I was 001. He was 14. Take 18 to be 14th out under. I was one above seven to the four. But we're moving on to round number eight. Round eight was the quarterfinal. I was racing Matt Daddis. Checked the time slip app and I knew he was holding around 400s here. But I wasn't going to let that affect me. As far as my game plan... I thought if it stumbles, I'll be on a 52, I need to hold it to the floor. And if it feels good, I might be on a high 51 and I need to give it a blip of the throttle at some point. I knew it was gonna look goofy on his side, but I had to stay true to what I was doing. Matt Data 611 in the left lane, flopped over. Right lane is Rocky McLean. McLean 452, the dial in the dragster. Datis. Oh! Datis is gonna not wanna see that ticket. Don't text him, don't call him. He don't want it, I promise you that. Not sure if y'all caught it, but the previous round against the dragster, I added two thou to my box to be 001. Here against Datus, I added two thou more to my box. And all weekend, the tree was just super, super long. I would wait a split second before I got on the button normally. And I guess I was just super amped up here. I started to flinch, saved my hand from coming off. And then just about the time I was doing that, the bulb was coming on. I let go, couldn't tell if I was red or dead late. Didn't bump or anything. He turned it one thou red and the car stumbled again. I'll run it back twice here, see if you guys can see it. <laughs> Even with that, it looks like it was on another 452, and we were moving on to round nine, three cars left. Heading into round nine, plan was the same. The car stumbled, I was sending it if it felt good. I had a little work to do. Oh man, it's late. Oh. Radulowski gonna be sick. Radulowski's double O2 red. I remember at the time it didn't feel like I missed it at all, but if you watch it back from the 360 camera's view, it definitely looks like I missed it. I did lift it half track, but looking at the incrementals, it looks like I was hauling butt. I had it going like a mid to high 449 even with it stumbling. My game plan for the final, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I wasn't quite sure. I thought about it for a long time. I thought at first it was going 52s because it was stumbling, but it just stumbled to go a 49. I didn't wanna dial myself out of it, but I didn't wanna hold too much either. So I tried to find a middle ground and I ultimately decided a 51. I thought it definitely had potential to repeat what it just did, going a high 49, maybe like a low 50. And if it didn't feel good at all, could be going a 51, who knows. But the plan was, 
hit the tree, try to kill 10 to 15 thou if you can. I thought all the footage of me getting in the car, getting strapped in, rolling under the tower and everything was pretty cool. So I'm gonna include that in the video. I think I'll put a little timestamp if you just wanna get to the race, but hope you guys enjoy it. Here's what happened in the final. So it's Josh Rocky McLean the second. I like Little Rob's got a real name. Clean out of Texas. Josh Little Rob is second. The gold star car of Rocky McLean. The law Chevrolet Buick. Both y'all back up for Both y'all come back up for winter service Got the golf cart bleachers over there. We've heard at least six guys lie about their runs today over there, the girls. Absolutely detrimental. No, I'll just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let them sweat a little bit. Ten out of ten guys at racetracks lie about the runs they make to impress with them. One more pair to go. Again, shout out to the crew. Here at Worldwide Technology Raceway, none of this is possible without these guys and ladies making it happen. Kendra running the computer. Cracky team down there on the starting line of the water box. DB's been keeping the starting line with everybody together. The whole crew, Nettie, her team. Making it all possible, Worldwide Technology Raceway. It's Vintage 50K Saturday. Live on Motormania TV, brought to you by Alexander Investment Services. Growing capital for generations. C and D Racing Products. RTD. Racer Tools Direct. HBL Rugger Raceway.
Rocky's in. Trees down. Oh, Rocky saved his best for last. He's got nine down to work. What? Ball game. How about 005? Dead seven. Lukey, his worst light of the last four rounds. 14, one above three. Ineligible as Rocky McLean throws 12 total down for 50K. I picked you three and a half rounds ago. Huh? I picked you three and a half uh, rounds ago. Thanks. Good man. job. Hey, that was a good run. Congratulations. Thanks, Darren. Hell of a job. Proud of you. Uh, 817. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> nice Good job, Rocky. Rocky, this is yours. Thank you, sir. And then this one is yours, too. Why am I the only one over here? <laughs> We're gonna do an interview when he gets the mic back. Okay. All right, everybody, up to the car. Up to the car. Not on the middle. Not. I need a wake-up call. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Foolish shit I'm gonna do all weekend long, right here. <laughs> Being somebody else's winner circle pick. I don't. Well, give us the one. All right, everyone's over here. Give it up one more time for your Saturday night winner, Rocky McLean. I did race the next day, but this video is long enough, so I want to wrap it up. I will never be able to say a big enough thank you to the entire Liggett family, all seven of them. I had no intentions of going to this race, and they called me up, offered to take all my stuff and my car up there. They worked super hard around my work schedule. Roger even drove straight through all the way to St. Louis so I could work at the track on Wednesday. They supported me as long as I was racing, staying up with me till 3 a.m. the first night. I stayed in the trailer every night, but it was air conditioned, and who knows how much they spent on me in food and generator gas. Any problem the car had, they were there. There were times where I was probably thinking too much racing, and the kids took my mind off of it. I uh, had a lot of fun with them. It's not often that anyone offers to haul all your stuff across the country and I could definitely feel all their support in those big moments. Also super pumped to put Gall Star TV in the winner circle. If you guys haven't already, head on over to Gall Star TV on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed. He makes 10 times better videos than I could ever make. And I want to thank Tom and Gall Star and my Gall Star teammates so much for all of their support. Without them, who knows if everything would have even happened the same and uh, I wouldn't change it for anything. That's going to do it for this one guys. If you made it this far, that's pretty crazy because it's a long video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.